Uh, welcome back, everybody, to the fish truck television. Huh? All right, so this person is the sister of the person we just killed, but from an alternate universe, and she's evil oh, now. Oh, shit. And the, it's and El Eleanor and now El El Banor. El, El Guapo. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, it, it. So in our world, she's our um, scientist. This lady, you'll find out okay. soon enough once we kill her and take her helmet off and come to the realization. Kind of a spoilers, but also who was paying attention to this? Who was paying story? attention? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It kind of looks hilarious when she just kicks up and then to the right. <laughs> She's just kicking in different directions. Yeah, she dead. <laughs> wow. Yep. Trash, trash, yeah. trash, trash. Oh, true. this the last boss? No, not even oh. close. This is like that whale robot for X5. Yep, that's why I like it. I don't think he <laughs> even hit me. Okay. Uh, sure. so um, uh, so so this is gonna be a, I guess like a very brief recap of uh, last episode. What's um, because uh, I started to kind of say the topic and I didn't want the episode to go too far over the time. Yeah. So, um. So, uh, super quick recap. I was watching a video about, uh, gender roles, uh, but more importantly, well, you know, just also about, like, the content that kind of feeds into, uh, you know, I guess, like, the, the vitriol or, like, some of the stupidity that that comes with. Right. Um, My favorite and, gender uh, role are the blue cookies they give out on, um, gender <laughs> reveal parties. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've only been to one and they gave out blue cookies. I don't know if they give out pink ones. But uh <laughs> um and uh yeah, j just like, you know, to, I mean, we're talking about content where um I I don't know. It, it's like it's stuff that I I'm completely oblivious to cuz I just never watch that kind of shit cuz it's like yeah, like yeah it's made to ma it's made to um it's rage bait it's rage bait. Yeah. It's, it's actual yeah. rage bait content and it's just like you know um like there are times where uh where like i'll talk with someone and they'll be like oh man can you believe believe like you know i don't know i'll just like because i'm a dude they'll be like oh yo women yo nowadays are crazy they have these <laughs> expectations and this and that i'm like, like oh, I'd says, be better, says who <laughs> says, says who like what yeah. And then, uh, and then he's like sh citing these fucking like shit rage bait videos that are on like TikTok or some shit. And I'm like, you're don't. a fucking moron, bro. Those people aren't real. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't watch, I don't mean, watch TikTok videos. Bro. I mean, those people are real, but like, they are the, like, the vast majority of people are, are normal and not fucking stupid. Like, <laughs> so, like, I, but that's, if that's what you, you're gonna keep looking at, and you go, yeah, this is all the women. It's like, and, that that I guess segues into uh, what the dude gets in at the end of the video when he was talking about it, in my head. I'm just like, yeah, because I guess the, the the way he's structuring his video, just like, yeah, there's another important element to this, and I'm like, it's you. <laughs> it's like it's and like not him specifically, but I mean, just like for anyone who who keeps going, like, yeah, man, it's crazy what these women say nowadays, or or the expert or dudes do this kind of crazy shit, or say, you know, whatever it goes both ways, and it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And it's just like, it, no, it's crazy that you watch this garbage and fucking, <laughs> like, take it at face value. This uh, is you. This is your fault. Like, stop fucking doing this. Like, they're, I, they're, that, uh, on a, on a less, uh, you know, impactful, uh, note or something, but, but related, like, I put out a video, my most recent video on, on the main channel was about, uh, how to enjoy the DLC. And, um... And like pretty much the vast majority of the video was about uh, the Elden Ring DLC, upcoming right. Elden Ring DLC, and the vast majority of the video was about tailoring your YouTube feed because like I think a lot of people don't understand how much they shoot themselves in the foot <laughs> <laughs> by just like brain goes off, click anything that seems remotely interesting, onga bunga, right, and. Uh, and then when something shit happens, it's just like, well, obviously, uh, you didn't sign up for, you know, God of War 2018 spoilers, but like, you didn't sign up for fucking Kratos, he's Zeus in hell. That was me in 2018. <laughs> and <laughs> I didn't, you know, even though I was watching videos about God of War, I didn't want to see the one that spoiled it. 
But the problem is that now that I'm watching videos about God of War, YouTube, like the algorithm, whatever, in, in all its mystery, uh, you know, isn't going to discern between what's a spoiler and what's not a fucking spoiler. Right. At least as far as I know. And as far as I could tell, and I, I will say, oh, I, def watch, uh, I haven't. Yeah, I think we all have enough evidence to say that it doesn't really do a good job of telling the difference, if a job at all. And, um, <laughs> and the thing is that, like, you know, is it at the end of the day, it is that person, whatever, whoever uploads the video spoiling stuff, you are scum of the earth and I hope your toes fall off. <laughs> but like, especially like. Like the day, day after, two it comes days out. before, and he really before, yeah. Like if it <laughs> leaks, like, like I remember that happened with Spider Man, right? Yeah, <laughs> bro, man, uh, I did our all right job. Avoiding oh yeah, those. yeah, you got it bad. <laughs> no, I mean, Sp did I? Sp oh yeah, 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 yeah. Spider Man bad. was bad. Spider Man was particularly <laughs> bad. Yes. <laughs> um, and and it's like there's so much that goes into uh. Like, like, how did this thing end up in my feed in the first place? Like, why? How did this, you know, go? Like, why am I seeing this? And and funny enough, I mean, this is gonna be super like hypocritical, but like, uh, bro, we're on the you know, internet. Like they're, 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 it's fine. What? We're on the internet. Everybody's hypocritical. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, you know, for example, like I could have uploaded, like I'll upload build videos or upload that video, how to enjoy the DLC or some shit like that. I have no fucking clue if someone else did the same thing and said the same shit. Right. I have no idea. I don't do my research when it comes to that because I don't watch Elden Ring content. <laughs> I make Elden Ring content. I don't watch Elden Ring content because it's like, okay, I play the game and I make content about it. Uh, I'm, I'm, that's enough for me. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, um, hmm. Herm, Hermes, Herm. So, uh, but on the flip side, like, and you know, you see this all the time and this is why I'm always on like a fucking high horse about not watching trailers and shit. Um, it is because like, I feel like the vast majority of the time trailers set you up for, for, for disappointment or failure. Like, like, you know, failures, a, you know, a exaggeration there, but just like, I feel like they more often than not harm rather than help. Cause like, it's cool to see a trailer that looks cool and have it and you know like it fills your head with ideas about a game yeah and there's like no way in hell the game's gonna be what you think it is yeah no way live up absolutely to no way. expectations yeah and this this happens literally every single time the game can still be fucking si like hey look it's a new character from number one. Oh shit why does he not thing. look fucking like made out of construction paper or something <laughs> <laughs> ask me if i care she's hitting me ask me if i care okay it's like the, the fucking head and they're just like, yeah, let me out, let me out, let me out. <laughs> I mean, essentially. Uh, okay. <laughs> and, and she has all the powers from, from the previous game, which I think is cool. Which is like well, the also. The previous one was like Magma. Like, uh, wasn't it, you know, you actually play through the levels and then beat the game kind of shit, right? Like, you know, it was not procedurally generated. No, it was procedurally generated. It was? Yeah. It's in this game where you don't have to be procedurally generated, it's like you can choose. Uh, okay. Yeah. Did not know. Did I choose? I, I feel like you just head about the wall on this fight. And... Well, <laughs> I, I also have, uh, okay, Phil. Okay. So I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm being extra, I'm being yeah. extra reckless. You gotcha, gotcha. Oh god. Also, what? I'm about to die, so I should probably stop. Are you? Well, I'm really? at half health, so... Because, I mean, this thing is uh, not long for this world, for what it looks like. <laughs> Unless you have another phase. Oh, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, like, like uh, the DLC in... Um... Like, so for the Elden Ring DLC, it's like you see all this stuff in the trailer and they're very, like, they're very vague. And the thing that kind of kills me, I, but I mean, I, I get people like it and I know it's a content thing. And, you know, like, there are people who like the content, there are people who like making the content. So, like, you know, obviously do it and shit, like, enjoy what you like, what you like kind of stuff. But uh, when I see all the speculation shit about the DLC and I'm like, or I see it's out there and I, I haven't watched it, I don't watch Elden Ring DLC. So there's a bit of a conclusion that I'm jumping to. Yeah. 
Um, but like, I don't, I don't see what personally, personally, this is, this is, you know, my, my viewing habits, right? So, you know. Um, I don't see the value and I'm not talking about like on a monetary thing. Uh, that me spe spending like ass on and speculating about what could possibly be in the DLC will bring to me. Will give me. Like, well, I mean, I if you're a it, YouTube creator, it's it's fucking not, easy content and uh, yeah. Like and, I said, I'm not speaking about the monetary value here. I'm not talking about money, like like the literal like you know like oh hey you know. I may be in trouble. I just mean as someone who enjoys the game, like as a viewer of the content is what I'm saying. Not the creator, as a viewer of the content, I don't see what oh yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. what value this gives me. I see this only takes away because I guarantee especially because of the way these fucking games are, like <laughs> you can speculate ass on end and then it's not gonna have what you think it'll have, but you're like super excited about yeah. it to have that thing. Um Like I remember uh I may be in trouble. You are in trouble, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I remember uh, uh, when the um, fuck, what was it? The uh, God, I'm trying to think. Was it was it the Dark Souls DLC or was it the Dark Souls or was it Bloodborne? I forget which one, but I remember there. I think it might have been uh, Bloodborne. Mm-hmm. Um, because of the, the, you know, like just the, how much lore and shit there is, everybody speculating what, where we're going, like, right. are we going somewhere else in the future? Is it going to show what happens afterwards? Or is it going to be like, oh, okay, we're going to go to the past and you see all these like, you know, great, or these, you know, characters from the lore and shit like that. And, um... And so one of them was like, oh, hey, we're going to see the, the pygmy, which I guess technically was, was Manus, but also we're gone. Like, I don't think that was neither confirmed nor denied kind of shit. Uh, or, you know, see what happens, like, the, we're going to find out what the pendant does or some shit like that. Or all, all sorts of stuff that, like, it, when it came out, it wasn't those things. But the problem, but the thing is that, like, the DLC was phenomenal. Right. Do you have another phase after this? Or yep. This, uh, <laughs> um, uh, okay. And the thing is that, like, you can have something that's so good in front of you, <laughs> but because it's not the thing that you thought it would be, it's a disappointment. Yeah. No. Absolutely. I've I've fallen for that trap many a times, yeah. and it's only in recent years that I have uh, been trying to. Um, you know, preface my viewing habits yeah. before a thing comes out or curb my expectations. Because yeah. uh, definitely expectation is the biggest uh, killer for any yeah. most games. Like, they could have done nothing wrong. It could have kind of came out and been, like, fucking awesome. But the thing is, that's not what you thought it would be. So it's yeah. just, like, you know, it's a, a bummer. Like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to... And I'm not trying to defend Ubisoft here, because fuck, no, right? fuck, fuck But, fuck but like, I'm... You know, hot take. Hot take. Yeah. Uh, but like Watch Dogs is all right. One, it's fine. One, one, it's fine. It's mm -hmm. it's all right. Okay, agree. It's to, all right. Uh, not listening to you from this point on, but <laughs> sure, sure. But you're you got suckered by the trailer. Tell yeah. me I'm wrong there. Like that's, that's yeah, thing. I got suckered for the trailer, and, and like, it was a bad game. It was like that's. I I think on an objective level, it's not bad. I think it's fine. Okay. Sure, it's not sure. something that I would go out of my way to play again. Ever but again. when I played it, Ever. I went into it with no expectations. And I was just like, eh, hey, it's solid. It's fine. You know, like the fucking Edgelord McEdgelord is your fucking character. But in terms <laughs> of like, you know, uh, like the game itself was like an all right open world game. Uh, I, you yeah, know, it was definitely not like, I would not consider it to be a dog shit game. Okay. Um, sure. I wouldn't say bad. Yeah. Uh, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Like inoffensive, fine. Um, and the thing is, like, because of the trailers that Ubisoft put out, so this is very much like a self inflicted thing. So, I'm not saying, like, you know, that that's at the end of the day, I think the discourse that surrounds Watch Dogs one specifically is correct, <laughs> <laughs> is, 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 is right. Like, you know, that's every, every sort of like 
all the, the, the beef and all the shit and all the issues that, or the hate that game gets, I think is rightfully deserved because they clearly lied. Yeah, clearly. Um, clearly. <laughs> clearly. So, so, yeah. Um, but then the thing is that, like, Watch Dogs 2 comes out. And in my opinion, Watch Dogs 2 is, like, legitimately good. Watch Dogs Two could be legitimately good, but why yeah, give but like, to at, but you, they like <laughs> that you squander, like the, the goodwill you, got yeah, squandered. Yeah, your goodwill got squandered. I don't care if you made a good game. I don't care for the series anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. Like, and then on the flip side, you, you'll have like me, who didn't watch or knew of the trailers, but didn't give a shit because it was just like, I don't know. It, it was um. Like when I, I'm not, I'm not gonna say I knew it was fake, but when I saw it, it just clearly reeked of like this is when I actually play the game, it's not gonna look like this because like the slow walking and all that, unless you're forcing me to walk slow, which at, at that point is ass. <laughs> but, <Yeah>. um, <laughs> F and burger. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said there was another phase. Was the phase running away, you mean? Uh huh. Oh, oh, okay. Yo, congrats. We did it. <laughs> Oh, it'd, be, it'd be kind of funny after a five-part series to just <laughs> lose. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, no, nah, we're here for our um, skills to show off our skills, not be funny. Right. <laughs> um, Wasn't even sweating. <laughs> literally sweating right now. <laughs> the temperature in my room is climbing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, so in my case, where uh, I didn't give a shit about trailers, I didn't, you know, it's whatever, um, because, like, for, forever for me, it's uh, Fallout 3. <laughs> and people like Fallout 3. People like Fallout 3. I liked so I Fallout 3 at the time. I tried to go back at, at it after New Vegas, and I didn't really like it. Yeah. But um, yeah, I still that, like New Vegas. I played New Vegas maybe about two, three yeah, years I mean, ago. Yeah, everybody, everybody loves New Vegas. Mm. Um, but, like, Fallout 3... In general, when it came out, people people loved it. People, I think, in general, look back at three fondly. I uh, I hated three. <laughs> I did not <laughs> like because I was I played Oblivion. Uh, I played the shit out of Oblivion, and so when I found out that the Oblivion people were making this next game, like I hadn't, I didn't know what Fallout was before Fallout Three. Right, um, me neither. And so I was super excited for it, and it comes out, and I'm just like. Uh, this sucks. I hated it. <laughs> like to me, it was. I thought it was gonna be like a super cool thing, and I'm, and I'm like, this is once again on me because I think on paper, like the game's good or you know, taken into consideration when it came out. I guess maybe. Um, yeah, so it's when good. it came out, it was definitely like what other game was it there like it? Yeah, yeah. So so you know, there, there's that. But like for me, Starfield it's like came out when that came out right <laughs> be the best looking game known to mankind <laughs> yeah. it, it would go down as an instant classic but also you know that yeah. was before no man's sky you know yeah i mean it's 2008 i think <laughs> um so uh i even though the game was good i was so hyped from the trailers and the one i played i was just like oh like i it is gonna obviously this is a me thing i understand but like it is all the desert level <laughs> yeah 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 for <laughs> which sure. got real old real fast for me <laughs> um and then like the shooting was was really really bad uh yeah, which, yeah. which i think is just a was like a fact the day it came out and even more so now uh right. and constantly using vats got real old real fast for me i um, mean if you weren't doing first person you gotta use vats yeah, well, in first person, you've got to use vats anyway. Trying to aim your gun in that game is fucking impossible. How, how much... Uh, Go back and play and tell me this. <laughs> how much RPG stuff did you play, or RTS stuff did you play, like, around before that? RTS? Real-time strategy. Uh, well, uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I played I played quite a bit, like Command & Conquer, the Red Alerts. Uh, and what about uh, RPG uh, stuff? The Battle for Middle Earth and... Uh, yeah, I played much RPGs. Been playing them since I was a kid. Yeah, no, nah. yeah, just wondering. It was just, just uh, yeah. It, it's because it was my problem with bats is that it's um, it's uh, it's the only option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Because the shooting's so bad. And once again, go back and tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're not. You're not. <laughs> um, and at a certain point, it you know, like the the situations they push you in and the way the enemies are is not dynamic, really. Yeah. Uh, sure. You know, the AI is really fucking stupid. Like, it's either <laughs> they just run at you or they or just they get stuck there. on a piece of trash. And yeah. You can hide behind something and wait for yeah. your health to come so, back. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So it's like, it's the, you know, when we're in RTS games or something, it, it's, since you brought that up, in RTS games, if you're in a fight, uh, you know, you have to respond to the way the environment is. You have to respond to the, you know, if you're playing through like a campaign or something, you have to respond to what the enemy's throwing at you, what kind of like, re or what kind of units or shit they've given you, given you access to, what like the wind conditions are, that kind of stuff. There's a lot of dynamic elements there that require you to like, you know, adapt and get better and all that kind of shit. Right. Um, and in Fallout, it's literally just like, you know, I solved the game. It's to enter vats and just keep doing that until, you know, I fix the water supply or whatever the fuck it was at the end of the game. Um, Yay. So that that was, uh, yeah, like like Fallout 3 was the last game I got super duper hyped for and then got really disappointed. And to be fair, that disappointment mostly falls on me. Um, or at least in my case feels like it does. Um, and so ever since then, I've just pretty much been like super just like <laughs> just with trailers. I mean, it's like not incredibly not suspicious or not even suspicious i just don't watch them right. what's the point when it comes out when it comes out and if it's good and i play it and i like it then it's like a really nice surprise <laughs> yeah yeah uh, absolutely. like you your experience will always be better for not having expectations going in. yeah always. like a, like elden ring elden ring you know i'm expecting like it's gonna be yeah i mean you know they they pretty much have done good every single time so i'm expecting this will be good but also every single trailer they showed beforehand is a nothing burger <laughs> <laughs> the, like what is any of this why why should i be hyped over whatever i can't even remember what the fuck they showed at this point but like whatever complete esoteric random bullshit that i have no context for why would i be excited for any of this right and and uh you know like, i trust game's gonna be good when it comes out but like this trailer it, is not telling me anything <laughs> Um, but it and has when, the dude walking slow. Yeah, yeah, woo. And <laughs> uh, and so, when, but when it came out and it was like, hey, this is awesome, and I, you know, it's kind of like a return to you know Dark Souls kind of, just like or the way the combat and stuff is. Yeah, yeah. And you know, equipment and that kind of shit, uh, which I preferred. I was like, you know, super excited. I played shit out of it, and you know, here we are, kind of thing. But um, yeah, I don't know, it was just. Uh, Started talking about gender roles, and, but really the point of it was more time about to uh, make curb sure your if you not not only curb your expectations, but tailor your own feed. What uh, if you feel like the internet only ever shows you negativity? That's because you keep engaging with. It. Yes, yes, absolutely. Like, like that's because the internet knows that you will engage with negativity. Yeah, the don't engage with negativity. With news, any type of. Um, yep medium they're, they're always for the drama man always for the drama yeah. they're trying to push that shit because straight up they give you what you want and the people want that shit it's what yeah. they will watch they it is proven <laughs> so uh, yeah yeah like there's a D, &D channel i subscribe to and then unsubscribe to because i prefer or i should say tabletop role-playing constructive things instead of people complaining about booking. yeah well, no the thing is that like this channel specifically the guy uploads videos about other tabletop games and i enjoyed the content but the thing is that every now and then he do like if, like a wizards of the coast and this episode's going super over well like if wizards of the coast would do some 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 bullshit you make a video about it and it'd have like you know the clickbaity title and thumbnail but the thing is that you know it's it's technically not clickbaity because uh you know they did do the thing right so right, right. you know so it's like okay that's fine whatever but then uh you know the guy would keep mentioning that in his videos he was getting uh you know he would get comments where people go like oh all you do is make like fucking clickbait drama content even though he makes it like once every you know, right. with the frequency of things happening, it might be once, uh, once a month, once every two months, something like that. If you were watching but, his content, then you would know yeah. that he makes other content besides that instead of watching only the fucking bad videos. 
Yeah, but then what wound up happening was that in order to dry, try and drive content to his other videos, he was giving all of his other videos bullshit clickbait titles and thumbnails. <laughs> so I'm like, I watch all of this stuff, I watch all the stuff, and then I just see orc controversy, and I'm like, uh-oh, another one? <laughs> and, <laughs> nope, and, I, and, and I click on it, and it's like, no, just him talking about how they change orcs throughout the years. And mm. I'm just like, I like the content, but also the thing is that I click on these videos with these titles and then it's, my feed starts recommending me other bullshit yeah. <laughs> that I never was interested in in the first place. <laughs> and, and so I just, I'm like, all right, well, I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not sticking around for this shit. Like that's <laughs> like, that's, I, I draw the line at that. Like I respect, <laughs> you know, trying to grow your channel, but don't, don't lie to me. Like that kind of shit. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Do you see the pay pace difference between final game and the beginning again? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking uh, of pacing, that's the end of this video. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. We will not be playing this next time. Goodbye. Unless we find another shitty game. I mean, shitty game to play on stream, not a shitty game. I apologize. Don't kill me. Bye. <laughs> bye bye.